lap. You know what I'm saying? Subtle flex game. Okay? We're not cocky. We're humble. But we're bougie. We're just not in your face about it. Okay? It's like being bougie on the low. Subtle flex. <laughs> Subtle flex game. I never thought about that. I might steal that subtle flex uh -huh. game. I'm still in that. No, it's mine. <laughs> I came up with this. Subtle flex. No. She did come up with that. I'm going to be part of the subtle flex game. You can be part of the subtle flex game. Yeah. But I'm the kingpin. Queenpin. Kingpin. I'm going to come up with a male version clothing thing for the subtle flex. That would be a cool, like, athleisure yeah. thing. Yeah. Subtle flex. Because you know, it's a subtle flex. Because it's athleisure. It's athletic sports, chill loungewear, yeah. but it's still flex though. She so. was talking about the Bentley before. I don't know if I got that recording when she was talking yes, about the Bentley. I want a Bentley. It's a very subtle flex. It's not in your face. Like when you see a Bentley, you know it's a Bentley, but it's not in your face. Like the emblem's not like a bend. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ooh, she got a bend. It's more like, oh shit, it's a Bentley. Subtle flex. Right. I want the Mercedes. I like that big Mercedes emblem in the front. Not, I mean, not to show off that it's a Mercedes, but from the y'all know the la the latter year Mercedes, how they how the big Mercedes emblem wasn't that big. I like that huge. That's sexy, that especially on the black. If y'all check out the the C Class Coupe 2018 or up Mercedes, uh, whether it's AMG or not, the 300 uh, series for that, y'all gonna see how that big old Mercedes emblem. If y'all check out the black model, man, it look dope as hell. Then on some of them they light up, so check that out. And that's stock, so. And that's not even including all the things you can do to the car aftermarket as far as, you know, with the LEDs and stuff like that, with the kits they got. So, it's a lot of cars out here, you know. Take your pick, you know, but. Be wearing down a mattress. On a low, dog. That's, and that's what I was talking about. I got to get my front windshield tinted, but I'm not going to get it tinted because I'm about to get a new car. Probably more like 80 to 90, 100% going to get a new car because the Jetta starting to have transmission issues. And I brought all those parts for the Jetta. And like it's now having transmission issues. I was gonna kind of pimp this car out, but oh well. But yeah, we sitting in the parking lot waiting in line. What's it called? Uh, trying to get COVID testing. But the front windshield, it is, it, it is a must. You get your front windshield tinted. I don't care where you live because of the simple fact when you sitting in like this, the sun beaming down, like this is Illinois in fall weather, but it's just, it's nice outside, but it's the fact that the sun is beaming down on the window. Then it makes me hot. I'm hot, but the rest of the car tinted, but it's like the front windshield is a must to get tinted because these visors, they don't really do nothing too much. They don't really do nothing too much. So other than that, front windshield tinted a must. And I would have to say at least, I'll go 20% with mine, but I know I would do at least 35% uh, if you're trying to be legal. So it's illegal to get your front windshield tinted, but if you one of those people who want the front windshield tinted like me and who's going to get it done, 35 percent at least because <laughs> what i noticed when you get pulled over at least where i'm at in the chicago area most cops don't pull you over for tinted windows though like if they pull you over for speeding or for like um like not putting the blinker on some some minor bs they'll give you shit about your your uh your, your windows getting tinted then but like unless he just being a real a-hole that day and you just <laughs> have a bad tendency to run into the all a-hole cops all the time you might not want to get your front windshield tinted, but like if you somebody who don't run into the cops, maybe but like once every blue moon or whatever like that, or red moon or whatever you want to call it, then yeah, get your front windshield tinted. And you know, some people be like, oh yeah, uh, what's it called? Uh, that's that's for that. I mean, that can go for anybody, and you're right. So it all play it by ear. You know, I, I don't run into the boys like that. So nah, even when I speed and stuff, I got my radar. And I know where, where to do my dirt at when I'm trying to do some fun stuff in the car, but I'm Gucci. So other than that, you know, uh, yeah, I would advise you to get it still. <laughs> and you might live in a state to where you can get all five of the windows tinted. So that's even doper. But if you in like Illinois, a thick, I'm, I'm sorry, a crazy state with a whole bunch of taxes and stipulations over BS, you might want to watch it. <laughs> Oh.